Mark Pendergrast is the director of product marketing at a company called Inrix. Maybe you haven't heard about it, but you're going to because they've got some terrific technology of helping you find a parking spot. And Mark, got to say, welcome to AutoLine Daily Insight. John, thanks to have me on the show. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. How does all this work? I'm driving <laughs> in my car, right? And I'm looking for a parking spot and you got the service to tell me where to find one. Exactly. So uh, what we're actually we've been working on for well over a year now is an innovative new parking service for drivers, actually for use in a connected car. And what our service actually does is try to hit on a couple of the pain points that drivers have uh, when they're you know, searching for parking in a, in a primarily an urban environment. Um, you're probably just like me when you're going rushing in to try to get to a, a, a show or a, a dinner restaurant reservation and you're running late and you're going, oh my gosh, if it only knew where I could find a parking spot or at least give, guide me to the, the street that had the better chance of finding a parking spot, almost like having your local guide in your head telling you where to go. But guess what? Now that technology is available for you inside of the car. So this is something that we have been working on for a while, as I mentioned, and we recently you know, announced that we'll be introducing this into the market with one of our partners, uh, automotive manufacturer BMW, best known for uh, the i3 vehicles uh, here in the United States, just recently in, uh, uh, brought in, um, doing quite well. And they're also on the front, forefront of bringing innovation into a car and really tying in connected car to new interesting scenarios, like what we are doing here right now with parking. And so you can envision this scenario where um, inside your navigation system, after you type in your, your, your destination as part of your route, that as you approach your route, that it switches into a parking search mode and basically guides you to the streets, the on-street parking streets that have the highest chance of you finding a parking spot. So it's, like I said, almost like a little you know, uh, local parking expert right there in your nav system. Having BMW as a partner is an awesome step for you guys. But explain how this works. How does it know where there's a parking spot? Well, that's the beauty of uh, the Inrix approach, right? So instead of just guessing, what we're doing is actually taking advantage of, of the connected car data. And we're also combining that with uh, a lot of other information, like transaction information from cities and from mobile payment providers. That's really what Inrix is best known for, is pulling in many different sources of data, uh, crunching it in real time, and then providing that, uh, that, that, that output, the, the, the occupancy information, to you as, as a driver. So much like what you do today with our, with our traffic service, where you're, you're guided into uh, or away from routes that are highly congested, you know, all that data is being used from, you know, you're, you're collecting that from, from connected cars. We're doing the same kind of approach with, with parking service. So we're looking at where people are ending their trips, starting their trips, combining that with transaction data, and then we're making assessments on where people are parked currently, right now, at this current time. So it's really using all that data right from the car in, a, in, a, in an innovative way. So you don't need sensors at parking meters or in parking lots or anything like that. Exactly. We're using real data. And that's the, you know, I think the differentiating approach with this is that um, a city, for example, um, could turn to Enrix as well to understand what the parking occupancy is on their streets for their own parking uh, surveys, for example. Instead of having to put pucks in the road or, 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 or hiring people manually to count cars on a, on a, on a road, uh, our data is you know, enabling them to do this really um, without any infrastructure investment or manual investment. It's all done using data from the cars themselves. Mark, how accurate is it? Because a lot of times I'll be looking for a parking spot, see something, and by the time I've turned around to try to get there, somebody else has jumped into it. Yeah, that's an excellent point. And you know, I think we're, we're very cautious to guide people that this isn't going to be 100% accurate. It's going to be a, a guide, really. That's really what it's meant to be. So um, naturally, there are going to be some, some occasions when we say there's a very good chance and perhaps someone may have just recently um, filled those spots, for example. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's certainly a lot better than what you have today, which is just guesswork. Where is it available? Because i got to believe that this is something that you're going to have to roll out, not just make available everywhere at once. Exactly. You know, parking inherently is a local thing, as you can imagine. Parking in Detroit, for example, is very different than parking in Seattle or San Francisco or Paris or London. So what we're doing is we're, appro we're approaching this on a city-by-city -city basis. So we launched at the end of June in six cities globally. Um, so three of them in, in North America, three in Europe. And we'll be scaling this out to about 20 cities, 25 cities globally by the end of this year. 
I love what you're doing here. But I got to believe that what you're doing, that gathering this information on parking spots, could be applied to more than just parking. I got to believe that you could use this for traffic management, for example. Precisely. And that's exactly the approach we're going to be taking to, to the cities themselves. So you've probably heard about cities getting really into big data, smart city approaches, right? So that's the big hot trend in, in, public, uh, in, in the public sector. And, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're already best known as a traffic company, right? So we're coming to them and saying, not only can we give you, Mr. Uh, City DOT manager, insight into traffic congestion, but we can also start to tie it to parking trends as well. So studies can be done to, to show the correlation between parking and, 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 and traffic. So you got BMW already. I got to believe other automakers are interested in this as well. You bet. You know, we're talking to all the major manufacturers. I don't have anything to announce today, but you know, I can tell you there are a lot of companies that are involved and very interested in bringing this to market as well. Well, Mark Pendergrass, thanks so much for taking the time. Very interesting. This connected car stuff is growing by leaps and bounds. And if you can help me find a parking spot every time <laughs> I go out, I'm all for it. Uh, we're glad to help. We'll take on the challenge. Thanks, John. Thanks. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. Hyundai, learn more at Hyundai.com. And by Pure Michigan, leading the automotive world in intelligent connected vehicles. We run on brain power.